Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Not since 2017 has La Palma been showing activity, which is very concerning. The orange dots on this map are earthquakes of a magnitude 2.0 or greater. The original rift zone that consisted of three rift zones on La Palma there in the Canary Islands has now become one major rift zone that extends the uh, southern half of the island. What they're not telling you that in this area of the rift zone where it's labeled 1949, the island has, in a sense, broken in half. And they believe that the eruption of Cumbre Vieja, the volcano there, would be all it needs to have a massive landslide of about 500 kilometers of debris. All these earthquakes have been about, oh, 20 to 30 kilometers in depth. Here we got one. It shows 21, 26, 24, 29, 31, um, etc., 32. And this other research paper shows the depth of the mantle that rises up from Cumbre Vieja. Here we can see the plume that comes up. We got the mantle of the earth, 20 to 30 kilometers. And it feeds this, you know, the bottom chamber going to Cumbre Vieja. So we know that magma is on the move. Geological evidence suggests that during a future eruption of Cumbre Vieja, a volcano on the island of La Palma, may experience a catastrophic failure of its west flank, dropping 150 to 500 kilometers of rock into the sea. ResearchGate has an example of the area that would break off and drop into the ocean. Uh, the gray over here is different scenarios. One, if it all went at one time or if it went off in sections. But all scenarios have this area dropping within 10 minutes. They noticed that in the 1949 eruption that a fault line opened up. But luckily, since 1949, this fault line has been inactive. Um, it also says inactivity is not unexpected, however, because the triggering of a flank instability on steep volcanoes generally requires additional destabilizing influences such as a dike emplacement or pressurization or trapped groundwater. And these events often accompany a volcano's eruptive phases. This line of reasoning leads us to believe that future eruptions of the summit of Cumbre Vieja will likely trigger a flank failure. So back in 2017, they were very concerned about the earthquake swarm that was going on there in La Palma. And yeah, now we know why. But the earthquake swarm came and went, and thank God it did. And now it seems to be acting up again. Many of you who know about the threat of La Palma know and have seen the images about how long it would take for the tsunami to reach different places here in the Atlantic, about nine hours for the coast of Florida. The average elevation in Florida is only six feet. Some places are as little as three feet above sea level. Now there is one place, Britain Hill in Florida, that is 345 feet above sea level. Um, but how big is that area? So the researchers ran several models, one being, of course, the worst case scenario. Within two minutes of the initial failure, a water dome has built atop the sliding block of 900 meters high. That would be 2,950 feet high, only somewhat less than the thickness of the block that, you know, that falls into the ocean. Within five minutes, the fast-moving initial first wave has outrun the now disintegrating landslide front. Large, what they call negative waves, now appear behind the leading crest. Think of a rock that you toss into a very still pond and the rings that it sends out, multiple rings. At 10 minutes, the slides have run its course. The tsunami Disturbance has grown to 250 kilometers in diameter, and several hundred meter high waves have rolled up the shores of three westernmost islands of the Canary Islands. 
Some 15 to 60 minutes, waves sweep eastward through the rest of the Canary Islands and 50 to 100 meter waves. 50 meters is 164 feet, whereas 100 meters, 330 feet wait, waves make landfall on the African mainland. A great train, the rings of dispersed waves 500 kilometers across, develops as an, the tsunami moves into the Atlantic Basin. Peak wave heights of 60 meters, that's 197 feet, there show up in the second crust. From three to six hours later, the tsunami expands across the Atlantic, retaining palpable amplitude in an arch, subtending more than 180 degrees. Towards the northeast, Spain and England, they experience tsunami waves of only seven to five meters high. That's because the uh, Canary Islands itself blocks most of the radiation in that direction. Vanguards of the tsunami, 10 meters, first brush North America near Newfoundland. Simultaneously, larger 15 to 20 meter waves arrive at the north shore of South America. 20 meters is about 66 feet. At nine hours, Florida faces the tsunami, now parading in a dozen cycles or more. In 50 meters of water offshore Cape Canaveral, even after being weakened by the geometrical spreading and frequency dispersion, tsunamis from lateral collapse of the volume, dimension, and speed that expected at La Palma could retain a 20 to 25 meter height of a tsunami wave. So when it hits Florida, it could be about 66 to about 282 feet in height, between 66 feet and 82 feet in height. And the average elevation of Florida is only six feet and some areas as low as three feet above sea level. So how fast will it come at you? Well, the initial slide they figure will be moving at about 100 meters per second. And the block of rock, uh, pumice, basalt, whatever makes up that half of the island is smaller, say about 250 kilometers. It'll be moving at about 50 meters per second. How fast can you run? That's about 112 miles an hour. Yeah, that is one fast moving wave. The best scenario they can give you shows where a block of only 15 to 20 kilometers wide and a 15 to 25 kilometer long block would break loose from Cambrai Vieje. Sorry for pronouncing that wrong. The thickness of the slide block is not easily fixed. Mapping the depth of the detachment, they know it's detached. They, they know the island has separated. Mapping the depth of the detachment surface uh, by locating earthquakes that occur on it has not been possible. Uh, no records exist of seismic activity associated with the 1949 eruption or the subsequent 1971 eruption on the southern tip. No other tectonic earthquakes of consequence have struck under La Palma in the last three decades either. Nevertheless, characteristics of past collapse point to a detachment two to three meters below the summit of the volcano towards the west as the surface dips seaward at a shallow angle to intersect with the offshore tow. And it goes into more tech technological detail if you want to read this. So this is why they give you the different wave heights. Uh, this is why they give you the different um, amount of rock that could slide and of course the worst case scenario. Uh, 2020 has been a very interesting year hasn't it? <laughs> when I seen all these earthquakes on the western end of the island, like I said the ones in orange are larger than magnitude uh, 2.0. Here we got 2.3, 2.1, uh, 2.2. Uh, let me come down here. Another 2.2, another 2.1, uh, another 2.1, 2.1, 2.4, 2.4, 2 2.5. 2 and the depth of the magma showing that, yeah, magma is coming up from the plume of the hot spot, 2.3. 
uh, recharging for another eruption is not good news. Uh, how far can you evacuate in nine hours? How big would the uh, tsunami be for North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, New York, Washington? Well, up here you can see 25 meters. Again, this is the worst case scenario. Um, yeah, what are your thoughts? Please put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe. And I will talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.